You may have heard of the polar vortex, nor'easters, and Alberta clippers, and when you do think about them, it's usually along the lines of, man, it's going to be cold and snowy. While these weather systems may have the same consequences, they form differently and originate from vastly diverse areas around North America. So, let's break down those differences. The polar vortex is a semi-permanent low-pressure system located over the North Pole, which means it's there all year long and consists of a tight, counterclockwise flow of frigid air. Sometimes in the winter, the vortex can weaken, spilling that glacial air into the lower 48, bringing negative wind chills and lots of snow. As opposed to the polar vortex, a nor'easter is a standalone winter storm that impacts the east coast of North America. They usually form in the latitudes between Georgia and New Jersey, and as they track northeast, they gain strength from the cold air and moisture from the ocean, dumping lots and lots of snow, usually on New England or more north to Canada. An Alberta clipper is also a standalone winter storm that's a low pressure system originating from, you guessed it, Alberta, Canada. Only difference is that this low tracks southeast so quickly it can't gather the large moisture required for heavier snow from the Gulf or the Atlantic Ocean, so snow is generally light but temperatures still drop below normal and strong winds move in as well. 